Hello, welcome to another video tutorial from Polymath Learning Center. Today, we'll be picking up where we had left off last week using the same base framework, but now to solve a tough single subject unchanged question. The question is, Andy and Ben each have some money. If Andy spends four times as much money as Ben every day, Andy will have $109 left when Ben has finished spending all his money. If Ben spends three times as much money as Andy every day, Andy will have $329 left when Ben has finished spending all his money. How much money does Ben have? After reading the question, students are encouraged to first express any proportion in the question in ratio formats. In the first scenario, if Andy spends four times as much money as Ben every day, the ratio of the total amount that Andy would have spent to the total amount of Ben would have spent is 4 is to 1. In the second scenario, since Ben spends three times as much money as Andy every day, the ratio of the amount that Andy would have spent to the amount that Ben would have spent will be 1 is to 3. After both ratios have been written down, we proceed to identify the concept of the question. Since in both scenarios, Ben would have spent all his money, the amounts he spends should be the same. Thus, the one unit in the before ratio should be the same as the three units in the after ratio. As they are not the same currently, we transform the ratios to make Ben's portion the same. Since Ben's portion is one unit in the before ratio, we multiply both sides of the ratio by three to change Ben's portion to three units. For the model, we cut the one unit that Ben has in the first model into three units. Concurrently, we also cut Andy's units into three units each. Thus, we will end up with Andy having 12 units and Ben having three units. We can now compare the before ratio with the after ratio as they have been transformed into the same size units. However, take note that the ratios represent the proportion of the amount spent and not the proportion of what Andy has. By adding what Andy would have left remaining to the amount that he would have spent, we can derive the two expressions that represents the money that Andy has. After spending 12 units of money, Andy will have $109 left. Thus, we add $109 to 12 units to form the left-hand side of the expression. If Andy spends 1 unit of money, he would have $329 left. So, we add $329 to 1 unit and this will form the right-hand side of the equation. Looking at this equation, we can determine that the difference between 12 and 1 unit is equal to the difference between $329 and $109. Thus, 11 units are equal to $220 and 1 unit is equal to $20. Ben has 3 units according to the ratio and we derive the answer of $60. There you have it, using the Bates framework to solve a single subject unchanged question. It may take you some practice before you can successfully identify and answer a single subject unchanged question. Most importantly, students must learn to write down any proportion that she has read in this question in ratios first. Only by writing down the ratios can a student gain momentum to complete the rest of the question. Alright, that's all we have for you today and I'll catch you in the next video. Have a great day.